I'm going to explain the principle of Redux to you, how it works in React and in other places like Flutter. So this is Redux, right? Now, Redux is a global state management solution. The place where you hold all of your state is called a store. Now that store is made out of reducers. Imagine like a large database with tables. Well, don't imagine that, but uh, imagine the place where all your data in the global state management sits is in reducers. Now, these users are like one, two, and all the other circles up here. The way that you write data or modify data or clear data from the reducers is with actions. Actions are just functions that identify the reducers and modify the data from them. Now, you use the actions in your view. For React, that's components. For Flutter, that's widgets. Basically, all you need to do to modify reducer one over here from the component A is to access one of the actions that modifies reducer one. Let's call this one A. And uh, one A is going to just go to reducer one and modify it how 1a is instructed to so if 1a the action 1a is uh, supposed to just put something in the global state of one it's going to put something there if it's going to delete something it's going to delete something maybe this uh, reducer over here we're gonna call 1b is going to modify the contents of one over here the reducer one to have a different value so if the a component wants to put a different value into one it goes to one b well i just named this actions and this uh, reducers like this but uh, you usually name them with uh, variable names they're variables or classes depends on which platform you use redux in now this is how we write data into the reducers we use actions we actually dispatch an action to modify the reducer now the question is how do you get the data from the reducer into your view and the answer to that is is that from the view a you connect directly to the reducer, there's no middleman. Well, you do use a function or a class or something to connect, but uh, you connect directly to the reducer and that reducer will give you its data back directly. How directly? Let's just say that um, when you access the, for example, 1A component, we're gonna say action A happens here then it will write with action with with the second uh, action here the second arrow b is going to write into one and that information once you have c the third arrow connected to one once you have this component connected to reducer one it will automatically sync the modifications it has live in your components. So when action 1A is dispatched from any component, from any view, and will update reducer one, your components that have access, the C here, whoever is connected to reducer one will get the information of the current state of reducer one through D. So if uh, B by some chance is connected to reducer one, B will also get the response of the new value 
of reducer one, actually it it will get back the state of reducer one. Whoever updates a reducer, all of the components that are uh, connected to that reducer get the new state. So use actions to modify the reducers, create, update, delete, and uh, you connect directly with the reducers and receive the state from the components instantly live as it updates. And that's it. That's basically the principle of Redux. You just need to figure out how to dispatch an action to modify a specific reducer and how to connect a specific reducer to a component or a component to a reducer. You have to remember that Redux is, imagine that you have a large application here. So this big circle is a large application. And this large application has many, many components that are big and small, bigger and smaller, and they have their own components inside of them. So these are components of components of components. And we just make a lot of components over here. Excali draw is very nice. I just I'm just pressing the number four right now and creating a bunch of components. Now, for example, if this component dispatches this action and this action accesses this reducer, if this component is linked to this reducer, then this component is going to get back the new value of this reducer, even though this other component from another parent component wrote to the reducer. This is the power of Redux, because no matter how big your application is, you can have as many components, as many views as you want, and they can be nested to whatever level you need it them to be nested. As long as your main component contains the store, they all contain the store, the reducers and have access to the reducers and the actions. And you can organize the actions however you want. And well, not however you want, but there should be a structure that uh, easily allows you to identify components and reducers and actions so that you have in your mind's eye in your head how things are organized in your project. Redux allows you to organize however you see uh, the project easier and um, allows you to go any level deep and have access to the reducer, to the global state. And yes, that is Redux in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chip, and as always, I'll see you next time.